There's Cruzy just sitting over there behind the van, enjoying some sunshine. Mm -hmm. Leaving here is a little bit tight. Oh. I got a drawer open. Oh, that means good. But that's uh, quite a big, steep little hill over there, right into the creek. Well, we did it. We didn't fall in the creek. Oh, my jackery fell off. <laughs> what a mess. We good? That's what happens when you don't shut your drawers. Okay, we slowed down. That, that ice is pretty thick in it. <laughs> Close call. I mean, just made it through. There's a big branch hanging right. Right there. <laughs> that whole rock looks like it's being held up by that stick. That's it. Holding that big boulder in place. Way to go, stick. You go! I see you got a little stick helper on the bottom. <laughs> that is awesome. <sighs> Emmy's gone to do some laundry and stuff. But watching her van drive away just kind of really makes me think about how hard that day is going to be when I watch her van drive away and she's gone on her great big cross Canada trip. Whew. Boy, that's not going to be easy, my friends. That is not going to be easy. I've driven by here so many times and I keep seeing this little dam. I'm like, oh, I want to go check this place out. Oh, it's the lake. The lake's coming this way through here. That's ah, pretty cool. That is awesome. Two buck naked trees on either side of the road. How cool are those? Stop looking. Seriously. Those things are super awesome. Like barkless completely. Oh, except for that side. <laughs> that rig is wicked. Look at that little thing. Man, the clearance underneath that thing is super awesome. What is that? Every time we come to the shop, we grab the blower and uh, we try to attack these little needles outside and I'm pretty sure that by the time I leave on my big trip, I will have gotten rid of all these. Look at them all. Like every time I get a little farther, more and more come off. You should have seen it before I started doing this every time I come here. This place, you don't... I originally didn't even know that there was a slab of concrete out here. There was that many of those little buggers. Oh, we're making some noise in the shop now. I got the air compressor hooked up. Just waiting for the tank to fill up. It's been a productive day so far. Should probably read this before it explodes. Turn to adjust. What are we doing where and why? Close regulator now by turning it counterclockwise. Oh yeah, okay. Just says turn it on. I'm only reading the quick start instructions though. Maybe we should read the actual ones. There we go. We are at, uh, what are we at? We're at about 160 PSI. That's what it looks like, 175, somewhere in there. 
That's about right. 175. Boom! Let's turn some light on back there so I can see. There we go. I'm gonna need to clean up this wiring and stuff over here. I'm really big on keeping things tidy that way. I put this back up on the wall because we had to remove it when these wall panels went up. That was in the shop when I got it. This hose here is, has a bit of a messed up ending, but no air or anything like that's leaking out. It's not bulging or anything. I think it's just from having it bent. I did put a new end on it because this end was leaking air. I ran it neatly all the way down the wall and I want to do the same thing with the power one. Probably extend it a little bit and run it to the bottom and straight up so it all looks nice and neat. Air tools. <laughs> awesome. Yep, I'm giving Lordco a phone call because Emmy needs some door locks in her van. Um, yeah, I'm looking for door locks for a Ford Econoline van. Okay, what year is it? 2012. And is it like an E150? E, uh, E150. Cool. What engine? 4.6? 4.6. Perfect. And this is the door locks? Door locks, yep. I don't have anything anywhere for that. There's nothing in the system at any other... There, no. I have one, um, one listing, but there's no stock anywhere. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. No luck. You have reached the parts department at Family Ford. We're sorry to have missed your call. Yep. This is happening. Another day of my taking pictures of receipts. We're gonna run a cable all the way down this wall along the bottom and plug it into the compressor. I'm pretty sure this is an exhilarating content. <laughs> We're gonna attach these fancy, fancy clamps on there. We're gonna attach the first one right there. All nice and neat, all the way down. Yep. Just how I like it. Look how pretty that looks. <laughs> Today's been a really productive one. Welcome to your air heater. Start heating level 10. A little dinner time, nothing fancy. Some tortillas, some jalapeno ranch. Today, we are going to build, we're gonna build some cabinets over there above the air compressor. Got the rigid miter saw out. We need to connect to the vacuum so we don't get too much dust going all over there. That's what this little guy's for. I got smart today. I'm putting on the coveralls, <laughs> thinking. Safety Googles and a pencil behind the ear. <laughs> Sorry, is, is that how it works? How, how do you, how do you keep a pencil behind your, what's, what's wrong with my ear? I give up. How am I supposed to be a shop guy if my ears don't hold pencils? Hmm? Oh, that's gonna hurt. I love how this thing puts a line down. Let me move this over here. It puts a line down there on a light so you know exactly where that blade goes in. Makes it so much easier to line up that line with what you're doing. So good. I got the Craig pocket hole jig set up with the new hose. Took a little bit of a finessing on this one too, but this will be the hose system that I will be using around the bench the most. So now this one's set up and ready to go for it, and so is this one. So if I ever wanna change the hoses over, I take it out of there and plug it into there, and we are good to go. All right, so these turned out really good. For some reason, I accidentally drilled three of them in this one. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, and I just went through each of those holes. 
when I'm old, I was only intending on doing two on each. These ones are a little rough because the drill was uh, dying and I didn't really realize that it was, uh, I should have changed the battery before I started. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Oh, look how good that looks up there. Ah, uh, yeah. You see, in my past life, there would have been an L bracket there, L bracket there, L bracket there. It would have been a <laughs> mess. But now we got those fancy little pocket hole things. This is screwed to the wall with dozen, a dozen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen screws. She's up. It's secure. I'm a little proud of myself. Every time I seem to make something in this shop, I get stoked. What am I gonna put on that shelf? Hmm. Well, these coveralls officially look worked in. I guess uh, I guess that's the point, huh? Go big or go home, baby. Go big or go home. We need to drill a hole through there and there. Drill, drill bits. I'm building a hanging system so I can hang both of these up here. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. Oh, I think it might work. <laughs> Sweet, dude. I'm just watching my girlfriend's live stream. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Sorry. <laughs> I got one hung up. I'm gonna hang it higher, but this is perfect. Cause then I can just pull it out cut the bottom, take what I need. So I may do the big one lower and the small one up top. I think that would just make sense that way you can, I don't know, but so far it's working out pretty good. We're gonna have to trim these shorter, but uh, yeah. So that's gonna be a nice extra feature for the second. Uh, then I'm gonna go to the back and see what we got. all those little spots. What's um, I think I'm gonna say Squamish. You heard about that town a couple of times. Uh, I... And my girlfriend's parked right there behind me. Today has been a mighty good day. Hey, buddy. I'm doing my best. Sorry. <laughs> this is disgusting. Having a dog? Well, there's hair kind of everywhere. Wet wipes in the morning. Wet wipes at night. <laughs> Seems to be like van life is absolutely, completely full of wet wipes. They just work. Never in my life have I ever bought wet wipes prior to van life. Never. I just never felt the need for them. Now they're like <laughs> a huge commodity. I buy them by the giant box now. No longer by the individual, by the giant box. Way better deal. Uh, these are the Costco brand ones. The Kirkland ones. And I really like them. They, they do just, they do just fine. I've used some ones before called Dude Wipes. They make a, or Dude Shower. They make a giant one. It's like twice the size of this, super thick. They're really awesome. They're just very pricey. And I find these Kirkland ones just do just fine. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the adventure today. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Um, 
If you guys want to get any stickers, uh, we do still have some $10 sticker packs left. I don't think there's that many left. As soon as those packs are gone, we'll, we'll, we, will, we, will, we, will, we will remove the links off of my website. So if they're still there, sticker packs are still available. So go check them out at vancityvanlife.ca. And as soon as a majority of those stickers are gone, we're pulling them from the store for good. We may only be releasing a couple of them. Come, Whatever. Anyway, guys, I got to go. I'm going to bed. I'm going to go flip through some, some YouTube and stuff. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Ah, today was flipping epic. I had a blast today. What am I doing? Shutting that one off. Turning my nightlight on. Okay. This is the part that you guys don't